One of the rare occurrences you get to go through, especially as a meteorologist, is to fly on a hurricane hunter. Dylan right now is in Lakeland, Florida, and you got a chance to do that, Dylan. What was that like? Al, you know, it was everything I'd imagined as a meteorologist. It was such an opportunity to fly with NOAA's hurricane hunters. Now, the mission we were on, we did not fly into the storm. Instead, we flew all the way out to Hurricane Florence and circumnavigated the storm, collecting data all along the way. We were on a Gulfstream G4, a tiny plane gutted and decked out with computer equipment. It was an eight-hour mission at 45,000 feet, and the data we collected went directly into the computer model that Al showed you this morning. We basically took a picture of the atmosphere out ahead of the storm so that we can better predict the path as it moves westward. Now, the mission is all about these. These are the drop sons that we drop from the plane every 10 to 20 minutes. As they fall, they collect pressure, temperature, humidity, wind speed, and direction. Each of these cost $800, and we dropped 30 of them just from our plane alone. But the information we collect is priceless because as it makes forecasts more accurate, it actually saves money and saves lives so people in the path of the storm can better prepare. Al? Yeah, that's right. In fact, yesterday, Dylan, from 11 o'clock, the 11 o'clock briefing to the 12 noon, because of the information from the hurricane hunters, they jumped it from a Category 2 to a Category 3. So that's, that's really important. Thanks exactly. so much. And, of course, you'll have a complete report on that coming up this weekend on Weekend Today. <laughs>